it's the Tamwiz electric bike. Yep, it looks just like a regular bike, but actually it's an e-bike. They are crowdfunding it on Indiegogo. So Sam went over and asked me to review it. At first glance, it's a really nice looking bike and it looks like a normal manual bike for those of you who don't like the e-bike look. They also say it comes in five colors. Second, really nice thing is it comes in three sizes. I actually turned down a lot of e-bike wheels because I'm only 160 centimeters tall or five foot three. And if a bike is too big for me, it's going to look like there is a problem with the bike. So I really appreciate when they fit a wide range of bodies or come in several sizes. Next, the drive system. I'm not going to get into the seriously bikey arguments about all this stuff, but instead of a steel chain like most of you are used to seeing on bikes, it has this carbon reinforced polyurethane belt. It's what's known as a gaze carbon belt. It's rated for 30,000 kilometers and it's no maintenance. Some bike people love them, some hate them. For the type of biking I do, just local commuting, I think it's a good call and I like that they choose to use it. It only has one gear. I'm not sure how that's going to work. There are a few hills around here, we'll have to see. It has punctual proof tires, again, good call. It has hydraulic brakes, which I prefer because they require less grip strength and I don't have a lot of that just overall well thought out. They made all the choices I would have made. Although some of those choices do drive up the cost. There is a 36 volt 7 amp hour battery that charges in two and a half hours. And they say it's good for 130 kilometers or 80 miles. But in my experience, those numbers are completely made up and no e-bike maker adheres to any sort of rational standard when they give those estimates. The review unit they sent me does not have a kickstand and that is kind of a pain. Hopefully that's an accessory they add and they also will be offering mud guards which are not installed on this unit. There is no sort of key which does make for a cleaner look, but there is a simple pin code on the bike interface. The default code is entered like this. Now, all this does is engage the exist. It does not lock the bike in any other way. Oh, there are head and tail lights already installed. They work like this. By far, my favorite feature of the bike is its weight. It's only 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. I'm not very strong and even I can pick it up and it's incredibly well balanced. Most of the e-bikes I test are quite heavy and I get a little banged up in the shins trying to get them up and downstairs and such. Okay, in love talk, we won't know if it's any good until I've tested it. Let's hit the streets. Oh, and remember to turn on the subtitles. It's the CC button right over there.
这上面不允许。那那是外国，你是中国人呢，你明明是打他的外国语啊。对，什么？你说。哇塞，<笑>这不，这不可以上去了吗？我不知道，我这个这这个男的一直进来。不是，这不允许上去的。哎呀，不好意思，真的不好意思。啊、我以为我跟那个男的进来，我说这什么地方啊？这。Okay, I also shot another video of me riding around on the Tamways in full 360 VR. Those videos are always a lot of fun. You can click and move the video to look all around. Links in the description box. First impressions. Whatever tour sensors they're using is so, so smooth. The acceleration curve has none of the jerkiness that my other e-bikes have. Basically, it's like you just have legs three times as long and the bike weighs nothing. You don't feel a motor kicking in to push you. The sensors seem to feel how hard you're pushing and add to that proportionally. So it feels like it's you doing the work. It's very clean. It's not like a scooter at all. Nevertheless, it handles heels without extra gears just fine. The motor added the force required. So it feels like you are going up a slight incline instead of a wheel heel and no need for gear changes and all that. I can't say enough good stuff about the bike feel it has. Really pleasant ride. But it is not a power monster. It's not a scooter or a moped with almost useless pedals added on for legal reasons. It's an assisted bike. You have to pedal at least a little. I like it. If you want something that does all the work for you or something more motorcycle-like, this isn't for you. This is a bike, but much, much easier. It also looks just like a normal bike, which is a big plus for some people. I'm told there is a Bluetooth app coming soon that will keep track of all sorts of stacks. Some of you are into that. I like my e-bikes to just go from point A to point B, but if you like granular lots and stacks and graphs, they say you'll get that. Cons. The lack of a kickstand is really a pain. If it doesn't come with one, make sure you buy one. They are easy to install, likewise some kind of cargo rack and mudguards. I'm going to assume this is bare bones because it's a wheel unit, but it's something to keep in mind if you decide to buy one. Pricing. Early bird pricing is under $1,300. Is this a $1,300 e-bike? Absolutely. It rides like a dream. Do you need a $1,300 e-bike? Eh, you can get something that will accomplish the same task for $800. It just won't be anywhere near as comfortable or pleasant to use, not even close. Kind of up to your budget to decide. The value is great, but $1,300 is $1,300. But specs-wise, it is cheaper than other e-bikes with similar specs. Okay, that's for today. If you are interested in buying or want more info about the Tamways bike, I'll put their link in the description. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.